The Manitoba Nurses Union says the staffing situation for sexual assault nurse examiners at HSC is so dire that some vulnerable victims are being sent home. They're being told to preserve forensic evidence as best they can and come back when they have better staffing. Imagine being told not to shower, not to change your child's diaper or to wipe after going to the washroom in an effort to preserve evidence that may affect the outcome of a court case. This is outrageous. The Nurses Union and the opposition NDP pointing at a more than $600,000 announcement from the province last spring, which promised the hiring of five full-time forensic nurse examiners and a provincial coordinator. Currently, there is only one full-time nurse. The rest are all on call, resulting in overwhelmed staff that can't help sexual assault victims in a timely manner. Not only does this make a traumatic experience harder for survivors, it makes it easier for the assaulter to get away with the crime. Kemlin Nemhard, the executive director of the Women's Health Clinic, says this is submitting victims to even more trauma. It's atrocious, appalling, shocking. First of all, it takes an incredible amount of courage for somebody after they've been through like, a situation like that to actually go to the hospital. Nemard says it increases the chances of a victim not returning to the hospital and potentially giving perpetrators a free pass. You're taking people that are already marginalized, already like traumatized and re-traumatizing. Premier Heather Stephenson responding Thursday saying they're working to fast track the process. From a high level it's a health human resource issue. We're aware of that. We recognize that. Again it's nothing unique to Manitoba. We'll continue to do what we can to, to expedite. In an emailed statement a spokesperson for Shared Health says five new nurses have been hired with training expected to begin next month and work is still underway to hire a provincial coordinator. Global News did reach out to the health minister for comment but did not hear back before deadline. Marty Blunt, Global News.